Good morning, and welcome to Monday. So as we discussed on Saturday's vlog, Mallory is having surgery today. If that is new information for you, I, I do highly suggest you watch the vlog from two days ago, since that explains what's happening, why it's happening, etc. So don't miss that one. Um, obviously, you know, Mal and I are both very excited. Mal is a little nervous, a little anxious, which any person would be um, going to have any sort of surgery or procedure done. But she is excited. Um, honestly, I have handled everything pretty well um, up until last night. Uh, and, and it was just very brief. It was a very brief, like... I guess, like bubbling up of emotion about the fact that this is happening. But, um, and it's not that I haven't thought about it before. Like, obviously I've thought about everything, but um, last night before bed, I became very briefly emotional about it. And I, I think it was just a combination of things, probably the proximity to the event. And there's always like an ounce of worry whenever a medical procedure is happening. And then also just so much excitement. You know, I, I'm so happy for Mal. This is something that she has talked about wanting for a long time. And I have known Mal for a long time. Mal and I started dating when we were both teenagers. <laughs> That's how long we've known each other. That's how long we've been together. Um, I was 18 and she was 19 when when we when we started dating and um obviously that means that i'm i'm in a very interesting unique position um to have have known her for a long time to have followed her journey to have been like very familiar with her pains and struggles and things like that and just knowing how much she has wanted this really makes this surgery carry a lot of weight. Like this is something that will be very genuinely beneficial for her. And I'm just really excited for her. And um, I guess that just hit me in a big way last night that this was finally happening after a lot of years of her wanting it to happen. So I'm really happy for her. But I also know that there is a recovery process. So uh, the next the next few weeks, specifically like the next week or two, are going to probably be a little rough. But uh, Mao has so many people in her life at, at the, this point in time, especially locally, that are just jumping at the bit to help. And um, we're going to let them help. So anyway, um, I got to get ready and then we are going to be meeting Alex and Haley there because they're going to uh, sit with me today and, and make sure that I um, have someone there with me, which is really, really sweet. I appreciate them a lot. And uh, then we'll see how everything goes. I'm hoping for the best as always. You ready? Yeah. You excited? No. <laughs> fair, fair. Mal's been anxious about just getting to the point of surgery. She's not really anxious about the surgery. She's not really super anxious about recovery. She just wants everything to get started. So just let's... Just want this part over. I know, I know. There's a lot of anxiety and stuff about like just getting to it, just wanting it to happen. We're ready, right? Yeah. We're all set? We're ready. So she is all set. I know I'm back here, which is a cut from here to here, but um, we got her checked in and they did all the, the pre-stuff and then they took her to the OR and because it's gonna take a few hours, I've You're just- Cerebral, we're definitely getting into several category. Hmm, what is larger, few or several? Several is more than few. 
Several is more than a few? A few is like three or, three, yeah. or, three or four. Several is more than a few. Mm. It varies. If we're talking about like donuts versus hours of surgery. <laughs> anyway, they, they said uh, she, was, she was back there at like 1230 and they said probably four. And I was like, okay. They're like, but they're like, we could just like call you 30 minutes before she's in recovery. And I was like, okay. So, and four would be when she gets to recovery, not when she's done. So, um, yeah. So probably at like 3.30 they'll call, maybe four. So I have a few hours, so. Yeah, get back here so you could get a nap. Um, yeah. So Alex and I could get some work done. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate y'all hanging out. I'm sorry that I'm just like You're tired. Getting to sleep. That's fair. I didn't I did not sleep good last night. It's good, it's good. I made, I got my little mini lunch, but I don't know if it would be enough for four people. So this is a great time for us to eat that. And uh Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little little mace and little stuffed shells. You get a little nap, we'll wake you up when lunch is ready. We've got some meetings to attend. Mine's not for an hour. Okay. So we're good. Wonderful. So we're back mm -hmm. in the waiting room mm -hmm. because Mao is finishing up and should be moving into recovery soon. Uh, and then we'll get a chance to actually see her. So Take her home. And take her home. And we have no idea what that's going to be like because we don't know. How many drugs. Yeah, it's pro that's probably really going to be what it's about. Like if she's been given ample supply of drugs, she'll probably be doing pretty good. And if not, she might be real nauseous. Yeah. yeah. She might be just nauseous regardless. Yeah. We'll know soon. Fine, we'll figure it out. It has been a few hours. Um, we got Mal home safe and sound. Uh, got the meds in her that she needed to have. And she is in the guest room resting so i just finished writing up her schedule so every two hours something happens um at bare minimum she has to at least like get up and move but there's a bunch of different medications and i have it written out so that even if i'm not the one that's actively taking care of now at that moment because we're gonna have friends around to to do that um they should be able to follow the chart real easy and it should be, it should be cake. So Mal doesn't wake up for another hour and then in an hour we'll wake her up, get her to move a little bit, take some meds, eat some food, etc. So, but while we were sitting here and I was writing that up, there was a, uh, the, the doorbell rang and it was our neighbors who have made us it's, more food. It's still hot. And so what's really great about this, they said it was pumpkin and rice. Yeah. It's beautiful. It looks amazing. What's particularly great about this is that they have no idea that Mao had surgery. Like, they don't know. But this is such a nice gift to receive on today. Um, and the other thing is, like, Mao can't eat anything like this right now because she's, yeah. she's trying to just have, like, the broths and the, the easy foods. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna eat it. So yeah, which is fine. It looks delicious. It smells really good. We also get like a little lemony, lemony little salad. salad. Yeah. I mean, you can serve yourself, but I'm doing it right now so that you can. No, I appreciate it. Thank do you. Do a video. This looks very, very good. I enabled walkie-talkie because Matt wanted me to enable walkie-talkie. Okay. Hi, Mal. How are you? Good, but dizzy. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, did you know that the neighbors brought food over? No. It's not, it's peanut food. It, it, it has, um, <laughs> yeah, it has cashews in it. it. Are they these? nuts? I don't know. And I don't think that you should have it, but I want you to know that it exists. <laughs> Here, I'll bring in my plate. Haley's gonna bring in her plate so you can see it. 
I've never used the walkie talkie feature, but Mal wanted to set it up because she thought it would be easier to communicate. And I, and it is, especially since it's just on her wrist. Yeah, this that first bite was very, very good. And uh, I wanna try some of the pumpkin. It's really beautiful to me that your neighbors didn't know that Mal was having surgery. Right? It's just the perfect time to bring I know. Her food. I'm, I'm happy about that. It's, it's, it's comforting. Like the food itself is comforting food. And then also it's, it's kind of nice just because today was a, today was a rough day. I mean, mm -hmm. Mao was in a lot of pain, like getting her out of there and, and bringing her home. She was in a lot of pain. And now the, <laughs> the drugs have seeped into her system and she's doing a lot better, but like She's moving slow. It's going to be, it's probably going to be a rough few days, honestly. You did it. I did it. You're, you're up. You're mm -hmm. moving. I feel better than I did last surgery. Well, that's good. I was, I would hobble and I was just like, ah. Well, you're right. Yeah. Because it was abdomen. Ab abs, abs are useful. You <laughs> use them, like, you use them to do, like, everything. Mal um, has to get up. I am up. slightly dizzy. Well. This is Zofran probably. Yeah, Mal has to. Circles. Slow circles, but yes. This would be last circle. Okay. Um, Mal has to get up every two hours to do a little walk, so. Go back the other way and do it. Oh, that's right. That's how that works. You all right? Yeah. You don't have to be like constantly. You good? Yeah. Okay. Every two hours. Yeah for um, I think the rest of your life. I'm not entirely sure. The watch tells me. How are you feeling right now? Good, better than last surgery. Okay. My tongue is numb. Yeah, that's because you were biting it. Yeah. Whenever, whenever Haley and I got there, they, they were like, yeah, she just kept biting her tongue as she was coming out. And they were like, Mallory, you have to stop. And she's like, just yeah. kept doing it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. I did cuss out the North Carolina DOT. Yeah, I did love that part. Yeah. Yeah. Because everything is under construction in this town all the time. Yeah, we got stuck in traffic. Yeah. It was a little rough getting back, but you're here. I'm just glad you're doing good. Me too. Are you ready to return to your state your nest? Yeah. Okay. And then in two hours, Come um, back out I will here. be back with a, a pill and another stroll. Uh-huh. We'll be here at 6 a.m. Yeah, so Alex and Haley offered to come over at 6 in the morning so I could have more than two hours of sleep tonight. Sleep um, is important. So I'm going to sleep. Oh, I'll get to sleep from 4 to 8, which is really great. So Put me back in my cage. Come, yeah. I've been doing just fine. <laughs> I want back in the cage. <laughs> gotta, gotta be down on the bed. Oh, my God. There's a little more potato and leek soup left over from... The other day, so I'm gonna finish that up. Kepler is upset because he got closed out of the room that Mao was in. He was in there being sweet. He was in there just on the bed being good. Um, but then at some point he was like, mm, "I'm just gonna like dig around everything in the room," and I was like, "No." Nah. So I don't. I don't think I explained. It's hard to remember what the heck I've explained. I'm very tired. Um, Mal, for one, stairs are hard, so there's already an incentive for Mal to sleep downstairs. Um, but one of the things that they were they had said was like, if you have a pet, you really don't want to have any possible risk of the pet walking on you. And I really don't feel like Kep would do that because he typically stays down around our legs. But it's not impossible for him to like try and walk up on you. So they really had uh, had put upon us that we should have um pets out of the bedroom for four weeks and i was like oh we can't do that <laughs> like that that does not work because kepler um like cannot be separated from us he loses his mind or at least he can't be separated from me and if he starts losing his mind, then he gets really stressed. If he gets really stressed, he pukes. And if he pukes, that's worse for his condition. So the best case scenario that we have is that Mal just stays downstairs. And I'm just going to continue to sleep upstairs and leave the bedroom door open so he can sleep with me. Um, and, like, that sucks a little bit because it's going to be a little lonely for both of us. But in the day, I'll be spending time with Mal as I'm able. So it's fine. And, um, you know... 
in four weeks, Mao should be fine, and then she can come back up to the, the normal bedroom. I'm curious how she'll sleep. That's our old mattress, and uh, it's considerably harder than our other one, but after we've, you know, it's been a while, been a few years, and we've been sleeping on the new one, and I'm like, I kind of wonder what a harder mattress would feel like now. I don't know. I don't know if I would prefer it. It's, it's hard to say. What? You're like, why can't I go back in there? <laughs> why? Sorry, buddy. You're with me. You're with me. It's, uh, it's almost 10. Got about 10 minutes until 10. I gotta give Mal more pills. And then I think I'm going to go to bed. Big air quotes. Because, like, I'm going to wake up again at midnight and go back to bed and wake up again at 2 and go back to bed and wake up again at 4 and then go back to bed and wake up at whatever, 8 a.m. Um, tomorrow's going to be a big day because, like, I have breakfast. I'm going to do breakfast stream with Alex, I think, while Haley is, like, with Mal, make sure Mal gets everything she needs. And then um, we would normally do Pikmin, but we're not going to do Pikmin because Mal can't. So I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do an extra Starfield stream because I really want to play that game. <laughs> and then uh, tomorrow night is disc only. So like tom tomorrow's a huge day for me. So having people around to help look after Mal is really beneficial. Um, so I really appreciate it. Like I, Alex and Haley helped me a lot today, especially, especially Haley. Um, really appreciate her. It, it, it was a, it was a big day. It was a difficult day, but Mal's doing well. Um, she's in, good spirits. So I would call today a success. Yeah. Obviously we'll be doing more updates on the vlog as the week goes on. So it'll be interesting to see how she progresses and gets better. But for now, I'm going to eat this, get her taken care of, and then start my very unusual sleep cycle. Yeah. I've done it before. Done, I've done it before, you know. I can't remember what I said like an hour ago, but I did this whenever Mal had her endosurgery because I had to wake up every three hours and give her meds or, or help walk walk her. It makes her sound like a dog, but like I had to, you know, help her go on walks and stuff. So like this is really familiar to me. It's something I did like almost two years ago. It's hard to remember what I have said to the vlog because I've said it to so many people Basically, like, because we've been talking to, like, family, like, her family and my family and friends. And, like, I, I've repeated a bunch of stuff. So now it's really hard to remember what I've said where. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sending all the, the good vibes to Mal. And um, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?